It's not the big dance, but the Raging Cajuns are happy to waltz into the postseason once again. After securing their first official winning regular season since 2002-2003, Bob Marlin appears to be leading the Cajuns back to where they want to be. But becoming a consistent winner takes time. Last year we started off 3-14, and 14, uh, and then we won our last 11 and uh, had the longest winning streak in the nation. I don't know that that's happened here in a long time. And the longest winning streak here in 38 years. We made strides this year. As you said, we won 16 games. It's the most games that these guys have, have won here in a long time. And uh, we're proud of that fact. And we're, we look forward to continuing that progress. What does it mean to you to be a part of a, a turnaround season for the school uh, and you know get get things going in the right direction for the school? That means good. I was involved in last season and this season, so that means a big thing to me. So if they do like make two tournaments or something next year, I feel that I have a part of that. If the Raging Cajuns want postseason appearances to become a regular occurrence, they need to build upon this season's success. And Coach Marlin likes the foundation he has here in Lafayette. We got a uh, good young man in the program coming back that can uh, defend and know the game plan, understand what we're trying to do. We need, we need another ball handler. We need a couple of shooters. We need guys who can rebound the ball. And then certainly we need guys who can defend. You know, that's important to our, our philosophy. And we need some size. Just have a, a killer mentality next year. Everybody on the team. Just need to work harder on defense. Just limit a lot of turnovers and we'll be great. One reason the future looks bright for the Cajuns is their young point guard, Alfred Payton. And we do mean young. Payton played most of the season at the ripe old age of 17. And as he turned 18 in late February, he was showing off his growing confidence. Every game I gain more confidence in, in my teammates and me and everything. Just, it was big. He's gonna have a good future. He's like, one of the hardest working freshmen I ever met. So he just keep working hard, he won't even have a good future. I see Effort having a, a bright future. Uh, he came in doing big things for the team. Also being a, being a point guard and being a good floor general. So uh, he's just a freshman, he got a lot more years here. So from experience, he's gonna be a very good player. I did grow a lot this season. And uh, seniors did a good job of bringing me along and teaching me how to be a leader and stuff like that. So. Moving forward, I'm trying to do the same thing for incoming freshmen. The future looks bright for the Cajuns, and they certainly have the coach to continue the rebuilding effort. ULL is Bob Marlin's second head coaching stop. He led a turnaround at Sam Houston State, where he guided the Bearcats to two NCAA appearances and had a winning record in 10 of his 12 seasons. So far in two years at ULL, he has led the Cajuns to the second highest win total in the Sun Belt and a postseason berth, and he hopes that's just the beginning. In Lafayette, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.